Hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Secret Underground Bunker location. And today I have an unboxing. And what I'm unboxing is my new Dremel. I've had this Dremel for years. Uh, and it's been okay. Uh, I've used it for a lot of projects but it's battery powered and the battery keeps dying uh, I've bought a new battery a couple times they're about mm, 20 bucks or so so every time I buy a battery it lasts for oh it's good for about eight months to a year of holding a good charge and then it slowly tapers off so maybe you know at the end I'm getting uh, about 10 minutes of battery use yeah that's all so um, that gets really annoying and there are a lot of uh, attachments that don't fit this Dremel uh, collars and things like that so even though I've, I've used this Dremel for a while now it was time to upgrade and the, the cool thing was it came with this uh, nice case and a couple of attachments but here you can see I've been working on these uh, wood hand grips for my Beretta and I wasn't able quite to route the pieces I needed to correctly and I was going to have to use my full size router which was a pain on something like this where it's you know small and delicate uh, so that was becoming a problem so oh and the other thing I did was I had uh, purchased this uh, Dremel accessory kit now of course they can't call it Dremel because Dremel is a brand name so they call it rotary tool accessory kit but uh, you know I, I did a video on this kit and uh, for tw I think it was under 20 bucks it was it was a very reasonably priced and uh, for the for the cost it was you know I recommended uh, people go out and get this because it, it has quite a few attachments that are uh, worth more than what the whole kit costs entirely so I, I still recommend this I've used several bits out of here they all work fantastically nothing you know broke I know some people had a problem where their bits had broken but I did not experience that all the bits that I've used have worked fantastically all right so on to the unboxing this is the Dremel 4200 and it was on sale at Lowe's uh, for a hundred bucks uh, which was really nice uh, normally 119 or so the sign said and uh, this has a easy drive change um, comes with some attachments which I really didn't need but what I really wanted was that collar that allows you to uh, I'm trying to, not to get the light on it too much that collar that allows you to do delicate work and scroll work so I need that to be able to route out the pieces for the uh, hand grip and obviously for some other stuff around the house who knows uh, but I do a lot of precision work so here we go and it comes with its own case obviously and there it is it's got uh, multiple speeds it's got a quick release uh, it's I haven't examined all the features but it's quite a got a quite a few features it came with uh, some a nice little box of uh, attachments and also one thing that uh, was interesting here it is it came with this which is a garden tool sharpener so you can throw this on the Dremel and it gives you a good angle for sharpening garden tools uh, may use that and try and sharpen my uh, trail boss and my uh, pipe hawk uh, both recommended products from cold steel and here's that collar I was talking about that allows you to 
delicately scroll the work along and you can see what you're doing a lot better so uh, I was really excited to get that and then it's got another piece to it uh, don't quite know what that is but I'll figure it out and then there's another piece that's a, a handle uh, that this didn't come with so I may pick it up because it's a handle that allows you to um, manipulate it at a different angle so uh, that may be good for some people it also came with this shield so if you're doing some cutting uh, you can attach this shield and you know how uh, expensive name brand Dremel products are so I was you know happy to get the the little kit with some attachments you know name brand Dremel stuff uh, it is corded um, but it's also smaller because it's corded the other Dremel I was looking at was the 8220 I believe and that was a cordless 12 volt but the size was about 15 percent bigger than this one so when you're trying to do those you know cuts with your hand it's even this is pretty big but the other one was was obtrusively big i mean you you would have had to wrap your whole hand you'd be ham fisting that work and i don't need to do that this is this is for precision work so uh that's my unboxing and then hopefully now I can uh, get back on these Beretta grips and get them taken care of. So, hope you're having a good weekend. This is Cav Trooper Munoz. I'm out.